Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting video, so let's get right into it. Today I'm gonna be doing a what I have in my purse video, but this video is a little bit more exciting than just a regular what I have in my purse. Let me give you a little backstory. I found myself browsing the coach outlet around midnight doing some window shopping which i've lately found myself doing a lot since we're quarantining at home i saw this purse and i fell in love i didn't buy it right away i didn't want to make an impulse buy it's part of their coach reserve and what i understood from the website from reading the description it's the regular purses that they sell at coach move to the outlet so in case you didn't know whenever you go to the outlets the brand actually makes specific products and items for the outlet so you're not really getting the same thing even though it's the same brand they make specific items for the outlet but from what i understood these purses were sold on the regular coach website but they were moved to the outlet for whatever reason. I don't know if that's true, but that's what the website said and I believed it and I bought the purse. <laughs> this is the purse and it has gold accent features. The chain, the handle is gold and it has the C for the coach logo and it also comes with a little tag and it's gold and it <sighs> smells good. It smells like fresh leather. <laughs> so this purse originally retails for 595 and I would never pay full price for it a purse that is really expensive but I was able to get it for wait for it it's still a lot don't judge me I got it for 238 without tax I did find a coupon discount for 10% so that kind of encouraged me to get it even though it wasn't a really big discount but it kind of helped I'm used to going to Ross and buying $20 purses $30 purses but my past experience with those type of purses is within a few months they start ripping because they're not a high quality I'm hoping this purse is gonna last me a long time and I won't be spending any more money even though I did get the Parker coach purse but that's a whole nother video I can talk about that purse later this purse is a medium sized purse it's not not that big but it does fit a lot of stuff I'm just gonna show you what I have in there it has two side pockets and in my side pockets I only keep my pen and it's really important to carry a pen in case you need to write someone's license plates right away but I don't know if you'll have time to reach into the purse to write them you should memorize them but I have bad memory so I keep a pen for whatever comes my way <laughs> so I keep that there on the side and then we have the big zipper in here and this is what I have. A lot of stuff fits in here. So first things first, this is my sunglasses that I currently am wearing. I like to switch them out. I have maybe like three pairs and they were all gifted thanks to my best friend. So I have these right now. You like those? Those are cute. I got these also on sale and they're Marc Jacobs for $60. I felt like I got a good deal on these. I have my coach wallet. This wallet is the textured one. Do you see that? And I have like all my cards and stuff. Zero cash, <laughs> maybe like a dollar. I also have my pain feelers. I get a lot of back pain. I'm getting old, so I gotta carry these. And when I don't wanna take Painkillers, I have my Breeze CBD Citrus Tincture, which I'm gonna take right now. I don't have any back pain right now, luckily, but you could always take some CBD. I also carry my favorite hand cream to keep my cuticles moisturized. If you haven't watched my nail care video, which I'll link up here, make sure to check that out. I suggest you watch it, grow your nails, moisturize your cuticles, especially with washing our hands so often lately, you need some type of moisturizer. So I carry this and it smells good. I'm always carrying a bag inside a bag. I decided to carry a plastic type of bag instead of like a cloth material since I carry my cuticle oil. In case my cuticle oil leaks, then it doesn't damage my purse. It can damage like whatever's in here, but not my purse because I paid a lot of money. But I have my cuticle oil, hand sanitizer because Corona. I also have two different types of lip moisturizers. I have my favorite chapstick, which I live for. 
I buy one for everyone that I know. I bought one for my best friend. I bought one for my sister-in-law. I'm gonna buy you one. I also carry my NYX lip oil. So in case I want an extra shine, I got this. I also carry this little mirror that my friend got for me when she went to San Francisco. And I carry my little perfume roller. I got this and Urban Outfitters. I got this at Urban Outfitters. It came with a pack of four different ones. And this one's one of my favorites. This one's the Lots, Lat, Lot, Lots de Coco, which is coconut milk or milk of coconut, whatever. But this smells really good. It smells fresh. Every time I wear this, I get compliments. So try it out. I also have some gum. You know, sometimes you'll be eating onions and you can have a stank breath. So it's always good to carry gum. If you can't chew gum because you might pull out your molar fill, then you go ahead and carry some mints. Nobody wants to smell your stank breath. Look how cute this is. So my house key is a weed plant. Can you guys see that? I put everything back in my purse, as you guys can see. It's pretty spacious, a lot of stuff fits. I feel like I carry a lot of stuff, but I don't know, compared to other girls, I might not carry a lot of stuff. Do you guys think I carry a lot of things in my purse? Let me know down in the comment section. If you want to check out this purse yourself, I'm going to go ahead and leave a link down below in the description. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys. Fall in love.